Alexa, what's the forecast today? In Rochester, there's a dense fog advisory in effect until Friday, May 13th. Today, you can look for mostly sunny weather with a high of 83 degrees and a low of 55 degrees. I'm in my pajamas still. Oh, we just woke up. What's happening today? We're cleaning up so, because today's the first day that our house is on the market and people are going to come see the house. So we have to make it look all nice and pretty. Like Dayton said, we listed our house for sale a couple days ago and then today starts the showings for it. So we have been deep cleaning. If you follow my Instagram, you're probably like, why on earth is she cleaning her whole house? This is why. Uh, yeah, it's been a crazy few weeks and we'll give the full update later in the day. The game plan is first we're gonna bring Ian and Felix to my parents' house and so then we can come back here and do a final cleanup without, you know, a baby undoing everything and a cat stinking it up. <laughs> and then um, once we do the final cleanup, we'll give you a tour and we'll answer some questions based off of like what our plans are. And today's Friday, Dayton got today off from work. So at least I don't have to do it by myself. We just got home and we dropped Ian off. We dropped Felix off. They're happy and playing. So now we have a lot of work to do. Yeah. <laughs> and we have to leave by 3 p.m. because uh, open house starts at 4 p.m. And then tonight, it's actually we scheduled date night because we can't be here. So we'll go pick Ian up and then we'll go to do our date night. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it should be a good evening. We'll and see. we got to ship stuff for Pashmark. Yes. Yeah, just to add to all the chaos, we've sold two things on Poshmark this morning. Which is actually so, good because we it's very good. fire sailing a bit because we need we need this stuff to go bye bye. Yeah, it's very good before moving. The more we sell, yeah. the better because it's out of the house. But it's just like we already have like a super <laughs> long to do list, and now we have like two more things to do. But that's okay. We'll get it done. We have to get two closet doors from our shed that we don't use for Ian's closet because it's so much easier not to have closet doors on his closet. <laughs> I didn't think you'd be able to get both at the same time. Well, they're hollow. This is Ian's closet, which it has a lot. Of, oh, I should probably put his bath in. It has a lot of really usable space, but for a baby, it's easier not to have doors on. Yay, one door on. The second one's always harder though, if I remember correctly. Don't tell you that. Oh, sorry. Well, I was just thinking because like the way you have to swing them from on. Smart. Put the inner one in first. <laughs> There's a ball in the way. Oh, come on, really? Yay! Are we gonna just gonna take these down as soon as the showing's over? Yes. <laughs> you wanna join me, Dayton? We're gonna fold laundry while we answer some questions. Uh oh. Don't look at our undies. So if you watched our Charlotte series back in when was that? In the February beginning of March. Yeah, so it would have been posted, I think, in March. Yeah. Um, but we did have a QA in that series where we talked about this. Maybe a few years ago we decided that we wanted to move to a city. It took us a while figuring out you know which city that we wanted to go to and we landed on Charlotte as one that we wanted to prayerfully consider we considered it and love it <laughs> so basically what we were looking for is a city with a really good international airport we also were looking for where we could do a lot of volunteer work and so we were drawn to South uh, to North Carolina because uh, Samaritan's Purse exists and functions in North Carolina, in Boone, North Carolina, which is a little north of Charlotte. So that was one of the first reasons why we started looking at Charlotte, because Dayton loves Samaritan's Purse. And then we also started praying because we were like, we really don't want to move somewhere unless we know there's a church family that we know we want to join. Because, I don't know, it just seemed very risky to move to a location not have a church and not have a church plant because th then what if you know there isn't a church that you feel at home in and you're stuck so <laughs> 
we started looking at churches and God led us to this church right at the beginning where we were just really impressed. So we've been watching online this church for over a year now. And we just like the more we learn about this church, the more we love. So this is just some background as to like why we, when we decided we wanted to move to a city, why we specifically chose Charlotte. I mean, we looked at Denver. It was a little too far out there for More us. Like though. Chattanooga. We looked at Chattanooga. Near Philly. Like, we didn't look but, at Boston because. <laughs> well, we already know we don't like Boston. <laughs> it's not our favorite city in the world. We didn't really. Uh, probably should have considered New York City more than me, but I just for family it seemed no, rough. No, we love New York City and visiting, but we didn't necessarily want to move there. So we we did consider a few different cities, but like ev like basically Charlotte checks all the check boxes. Moving from New Hampshire to Charlotte is a huge deal, especially with a baby. It's a huge deal anyway, but with a baby it just seems bigger. So there's been a lot of ups and downs. So our, our goal is to sell right now just with mortgage rates going up for, for hope like you know we want house prices to eventually go down when we buy but we want to sell while it's still high pretty much right now at least unless we find something we're planning on renting because it's what the one time which is comparable to buying <laughs> it's actually a lot cheaper to rent right now like yeah. by 50 percent like it's crazy i think the market everywhere is crazy but charlotte specifically probably because it's a city but and everybody else wants what we want <laughs> yeah it's true <laughs> yeah, i guess we're looking in that genre of housing that everybody wants <laughs> If we wait a few years to buy our forever home, even if the like the inventory is so low right now, yeah. that may not improve, but our financing will improve. And also we can be patient to actually be going after houses we actually want versus right now you're paying like crazy high amounts for houses that are not even that nice, like complete flip flip houses but there's like the price of one that's already been flipped and it's in a neighborhood that's like subpar so yeah that's kind of where we're at so after praying about it we are realizing like if we buy right now like in theory we could and we could be going after it we feel like it would be financially unwise so we're gonna rent an apartment beginning in August so obviously keep following us because in August we'll be documenting our entire move, which thinking about it makes me dizzy, so I won't think about it. But like I'll be happy when the move's done, it's just the actual process of A to B. A to B is hard. We're taking our first step, which is we're selling this house, so. Yep. Hopefully, hopefully we'll sell it. Lord willing, this house will be sold in like a week. Okay, so we're basically done. Dayton is mopping the entire house, so I'm gonna run to the post office to drop off our two Poshmark packages. Our post office is like a five minutes drive, so I should be able to do it before he's done mopping, and then I'll come back and we're done. We're done like, oh, I guess it's only one hour earlier than I, I wanted to be out by three and it's 2 p.m. right now, so I guess that's not too impressive, but we also, you know, took our time. We didn't have to rush today, so that felt really good. <laughs> okay, so we just got to my parents' house, which is who has been babysitting Ian, which we do not, we almost never leave him places. And not even like, for date night. Not even date night. Like, we bring him with us everywhere, and we love doing that, so I'm very excited to see him again. So I'm gonna film, <laughs> going to see him to see how he responds. Gotta go find my baby. Is Ian sleeping? Yes. I was gonna film seeing him because he didn't see me, but I'll I'll film when he wakes up. He will, yeah. Hey, but I may not have Ian, but look who I do have. Hi, Katie. Say hello. I think I heard him waking up. Pick you up. Oh, <laughs> you two looking at your reflection? Do you guys see the baby? Say baby. 
So we finally made it to the end, end of today. End of today's duties, I'll put it that way. <laughs> duties. <laughs> okay, the end of today's duties. And we actually postponed date night this week to be tonight because we knew we wanted to be out of the house for the open house, which is going on right now. We are at Shane's of Maine and we're gonna have some lobster rolls and Come chatter. yeah i'm happy to have ian back with us now overall today today's been really good very good very productive we got everything done <gasps> that we had to get done <laughs> and and ian had a really fun time and we had with like time to spare we weren't like stressed too much no about. we weren't like cramped on time yeah. you're right that did make it better because we definitely got everything done in time which Thankfully, so that would have been bad if we were, you know, running late and then still cleaning as people were getting there. <laughs> anyway, make sure to follow our account if you want to follow our story on selling our house, uh, moving in temporarily somewhere locally, and then ultimately moving to Charlotte, North Carolina in the fall. This is going to be the next few months of videos for us, and it's going to be a lot of content, but it's also going to be a lot of life lived. Yeah. So it should be a really busy but a really fun summer. So make sure you follow to keep along. And yeah, until next time. Bye. Bye! Today we were a little crunched on time, so we decided to postpone the tour of the house. But don't worry, we do video that, and this coming Wednesday is when we are releasing it. So make sure to come back on Wednesday to check out our channel, and you will get to see the entire tour of our home.